Well, how, well, how do you feel about, okay, say you, you succumb to this pressure and you go ahead and you get your wife pregnant and you go over and, and Lord forbid, God forbid, something that's happened to you. Like, how do you, how do you feel now about the possibility of bringing a kid into the world that may not be around, you, you may not be around for? You know what? That you have a point, but at the same time, I'm not really worried about that because when I leave, it's time for me to go anyway. And I just want somebody here. I just want a kid to, to carry on my name, basically. That's the whole thing that revolves around it. If I die, I die. Hopefully I won't, but, you know, that just, that's just the way it is. That's just how I honestly feel. How old so, is your wife? My, my wife is 24. We're high school. Both 24. Aw, how cute. Aww. Adorable. Okay. Yeah. So what are you going to do? I, well, I say he should do it. Yeah. I, mean, I say he, he said can, he's ready. Well, you he can back. free some yeah. sperm yeah. until she's ready. Mm -hmm. If she dies, that's she can carry his name that's on. That's true. Free some sperm. Mm -hmm. yeah. A little clam chowder in the refrigerator. Yeah. Right. Oh, I mean, wow. I'm going to go with Dr. Jism. <laughs> 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 yeah. right. yeah. That's not yogurt, yogurt, honey. I say go for it. He's 24. She's 24. They've mm -hmm. been married. Why not? Known for a long time. Okay. Yeah. So we say go home and. Bust one in your wife. Get it in. Yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> All, right. All right. And I mean that in the most romantic way. Oh, of course. Happy relations. <laughs> All right. Speaking of romantic, we have Low Life on the line. Low Life on the line. Oh, oh yes. Favorite romance. <laughs> Welcome, Low Life. I know you have something. How y'all doing tonight? We are. Oh, yeah, it always gets me in the mood. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I like to weigh in on, on the topic. You know, I'm just saying for myself, I put pressure on myself. You know what I'm saying? You know, I always needed me a woman. You know what I'm saying? You know. Like a little probation type thing or something, you know what I'm saying? Because I, because if I ain't got me a woman, I'm subject to get in trouble like a mother, mother motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? I need Mut something, you know what I'm saying, to keep me in line, you know what I'm saying? Like a little probation type thing, like don't do that, don't do this, you know what I'm saying? I need that. Some niggas need that. And then if you a man and you 30 some years old and you ain't got no kids and married. You know what I'm saying? You getting close to being that old nigga in the club where everybody <laughs> finna to go home and you still, and somebody asks you, you know what I'm saying, when, when are you going home? And you be like, when the fuck I want to go home? But you know when you go home, you lonely and you ain't got shit there. You in there crying and shit. I'm like, why, why won't you sit them in somebody, Lord? You know what I'm saying? Because you're lonely. You need something in your life. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> You know what's messed up about this whole situation right oh now? Oh, my we're, God. We're, we're listening to you, and everyone else is laughing, and I'm not laughing. Oh, please. Because, no, no. Oh, please. This all reminds me of what went down last night. <laughs> all of this. Like, I was at a club. I For the first time in my life, at 35, I first, the first time. Oh, 36. Oh, 36? Oh, my God. Give it together. Um. Uh, I, I felt like that person in the club that was little lonely and you know I felt like that person and I, really? I looked around at everybody and there was a ball play on my table and all the girls were pushing me out the way to get to them mm -hmm. and I felt like damn this is so not for me I'd much rather be at home watching a movie or right. you know at dinner or something and all, I've always had a youthful young spirit and I've always been fine with it but it's finally starting to like hit me now mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know what I mean and I drove home what the fuck no, I was trying to okay uh, <laughs> Sorry. so I drove home got takeout and locked my cats out of my room. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just relating with everything Lola I've just said just now. So thank mm -hmm. you for the call. All right. Um, we have a female caller on the line. Yay. Our first one. Uh, Liz, welcome to the show, Liz. All right. Estrogen mm -hmm. in the house. Hello. Hey. Hello. Hey, girl. How are you? I'm good. Claudia, I was just so feeling what you were saying because I was <laughs> at a baller's cookout on mm -hmm. Saturday. Uh -huh. I'm like, you got to be shitting me. <laughs> I, had, I had to leave. I mean, it was. I came in and began to tell you what was going on. <laughs> and how, Liz, how old are you? You're we're the same age, aren't we? I'm thir 35. Okay. 35. Okay. That's no your kid. Friend? Making oh. six figures. Mm -hmm. Just happened. Mm -hmm. Promotion. You got a raise. You got a raise. Then. Mm -hmm. Yeah, got a raise, girl. I mean, my brother has seven kids. Love his kids, but my mother is putting the full court press. Like. It's different when your son has kids than when your right. daughter has When your kids. daughter has kids, yeah. And Liz yeah. is an attractive woman. She She's a hip on sports. She has a sports blog, Liz Robin. DC Liz? DC Liz, oh, girl. Liz. And she gets hit on by a lot of a lot of men. Mm -hmm. And what what do you think it is? Like, what, what do you think the problem is? And, and how do you feel? Like, do you, do, you, are you, do you feel generally happy or generally sad about the situation? A, a little bit of both. When I hear my girlfriends that are married, I'm like, damn, I'm glad that's not me. But in other times, like you were saying, when you go home and you're you're kind of sitting there, you're like this is bullshit right here. I'm I'm kind of lonely right now, and I don't ever want to say alone, 
Right. Like you just yeah. get that feeling like I just want to, you know, just kick it with someone without no preconceived notions to go with it or without any expectations or, you know, or you feel like you have to be someone else to impress this person. It's like, why mm. can't you just have me for me? Mm. And didn't it seem long ago in our 20s? Um, oh except you guys, uh, <laughs> that, you know, it, 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 didn't, it seemed like I always thought, you know, being somewhat, somewhat attractive, that when I decided I was ready, I could just snap my fingers and I would just be able to marry whoever I wanted to marry and it wouldn't be that hard. Mm-hmm. It's not about looks. Yeah. I know this, I but. At 25, I would, I would be, I was engaged at 22 and he oh, was wow. engaged to somebody else in Jersey, but that's, you know. Oh, I hate mm-hmm. when that happens. Mm-hmm. But, so, but, I mean, I expected to be married with at least two, maybe three kids right now at 35. Okay, look, before we let you go, how do you stay positive if you, if you do? Share you know what? It's, this, this may sound real cliche, but I pray. And, and that's, that's no joke. I I may cry myself to sleep praying, but I pray. Amen to that. Talk. Yeah. Well, thanks, Liz. I will be calling you later, and we'll discuss <laughs> Discuss, discuss the matters in here. Discuss this whole prayer thing. Su- yeah. Su- <laughs> no, I was going to say suicide, suicide methods. Oh, listen now. Do we need to get you on suicide crazy. watch? Nobody, yeah. nobody it's just suicide. a baby. It's all right. All right. Now, we have some uh, statistics here I want to share with you guys. They all end at the age that I just passed. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, older women in pregnancy. A woman's most fertile years are between 20 and 35. <laughs> oh. I'll stop it. I think I'll that. A woman's a woman re, uh, as women reach their thirties, they experience a decline in fertility. Mm-hmm. Oh, true, true that. Furthermore, complicating complications during pregnancy are more common when women reach thirty-five. Uh oh, mm-hmm. Claudia. Uh, how old are you, Claudia? I'm thirty-six. Claudia. I'm not listening to you right now. I'm not even looking at you, you, married you woman. <laughs> Marrying at an older age. Let's see. A few years ago, the median median age at marriage had reached twenty-seven for men and nearly twenty-six. For women, that's an all-time high. Recent studies have found professional women are more likely to get divorced, mm. more likely to cheat, and wow. less likely to have children. And if they do have kids, they are more likely to be ha- unhappy about it. Oh, wow. wow. So, so much to look forward unhappy to. Unhappy about In it. In 1946, 50% of Americans said women should marry by the age of 21. That's wow. right. 50% that's of people young. said they should be like married 21? by the age yeah, of 21. Oh, no, that's too young. And yeah. only 4% said women should be over the age of 25 when they marry. Mm-hmm. That's actually appalling back then. Wow. Uh, this year's annual poll showed the number of Americans who favored women marrying by the age of 21 had dropped by 20%, while the number preferring an older age had tripled, so it's getting more hopeful, more you know, kind of right. relevant in in in, in fashion it to marry is. older. Right. Still, the age is thirty five. No, I don't think so. Uh, it's twenty five. There's no. a lot of women that it's are having lying. babies at forty. I said forty and forty. My sister in law just at six months old. And she's forty four. Do you remember she's the movie? Old. Um, he's just not into. Yes, yes. <laughs> say that's the exception of the rule. Right. Okay, <laughs> why don't you guys start listening to the Bible and not to these man-made things that you're watching movies on? Why don't you quote some Bible? Give us yeah. some Bible talk right I mean, now. I can't Go ahead. Quote Bible talk. <laughs> Bible no, talk. No, but give us some Bible talk. story about Sarah trying to have a baby, and she God kept telling her to wait, and she didn't want to no, wait. Now explain. Tell it. Her it her husband. husband mm-hmm. first. She had her, her husband. She let her husband step out of the marriage, go have a baby, and God kept saying, I'm going to promise you a baby, and she was not having faith in it, and then finally she had a baby. She was like, probably, I don't forget how old she was, probably like 90 or 100 or 80, I forget. Is that how she was? But the point of the story is she was way over 35. <laughs> she had her baby, wow. and God gave him what you said, promised, gave him promises. You can't listen to, he's just not that into you. <laughs> well, maybe that's not in your plan. Maybe God doesn't have that plan for you. Maybe he doesn't want you to get married and have yeah. kids. Maybe he wants maybe you to have that's kids. What you maybe he does. He wants me to leave Los Angeles where all the guys have their eyebrows arch and wear skinny jeans. <laughs> right. <laughs> if that's what you I think God's to, telling you, I you might have to, to listen. I might have to move. Exactly. I might have to move.